Hello everyone, here are all the supplies that you will need for this craft. So there's a template that you can reference as far as your size. Uh, you'll choose one of the sides to fold over and you'll do it twice. And this will be the top of the kimono. So with that same piece of paper, you're gonna go ahead and fold it in thirds. So you fold it over once and then you'll fold it over again. Okay, so now you're gonna work on the head uh, and the neck. And the neck has a collar that's gonna go wrapped around it. So I'm just showing you um, that I folded it over and then I glued it as well. Now that the collar is glued, you're just gonna go ahead and glue the neck to the center of that piece. And after, I'll show you how to fold it over. Uh, we won't worry about the head yet, that will be later on, so we won't glue the head just yet. So this is how the neck co and the collar look. Now I'm just going to go ahead and attach it to the center of that piece that we folded in thirds. So here's where it gets kind of tricky. You start to fold over um, the flaps and just make sure that you press down firmly. That way it lies flat. So you'll push down and then you'll go ahead and do it to the other side as well. And I'll actually show you how it looks up close in just a minute. Okay, so right here I'm just trying to show you how the paper looks. So we're going to fold it over and it's kind of at an angle and then push down firmly. Here it is in slow motion so you guys can get an idea of the folds in the paper. Okay, so now we're just going to start gluing all of the creases, the paper, everything. And just make sure again to uh, press down firmly because we are going to glue this to cardstock and it's going to be a bookmark. So we want it to lie nice and flat. Okay, so now we're just going to work on the sash and we're going to fold the bottom and then also the top and then eventually we're going to glue it to the body or the form that we've created. Glue the back and again, make sure it's nice and flat. All right, so finally, uh, we're gonna start working on the arms. We're gonna fold the piece of paper in half and glue it. Okay, so now that you've cut the arms, you're gonna have a rounded edge. Uh, you're gonna fold it over and create like a flap, and then we're gonna put it on the little uh, kimono, and it will fold just like that, kind of at an angle. You'll do it to the other side, and then you'll glue.
Okay, so now we're gonna work on the hair. We're gonna take one of the circles, create a, or cut it and create a straight edge. This will be the bangs and I'll lay on top of the white circle that's there. And then this will be the back of the hair. I'm just tracing the um, white circle and this will create some, some long hair. Okay, so we've already attached the doll onto the cardstock. Now we're just working on the tassel. I have included instructions on how to make that. And all you have to do now is just attach it, hole punch it. Um, and there we have a adorable little bookmark. You don't have to attach it to the cardstock, as you can see. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.